Sahaba have narrated it, and therefore, uh, predominant, you know, Sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir uh, ahadith are certain. You feel the It's not vanni. It's not something that is subjective. It is something that is certain. The notion of rejecting mutawatir ahadith simply because it is not rational. Right? That's to me the fundamental uh, difference between this strand of Islam versus the bulk of Ahlul Sunnah or the bulk of Sunni Islam. So, now check this out. What does the Hadith say at the end? When there's utter destruction, how will this be brought back? Then Allah will say... Now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, please. Allah will send, there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, whoa, people, let me repeat, look at it for yourselves. Thumma yursilu Allahu ma'an, Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, fluid from beneath his arsh so beneath his throne there's a collection of fluid which is kamaniyir rijal which is like the sperm of men <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe and what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to uh, to once again life so sperm <laughs> For that, people, I had to, had to, yeah. so, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 blizzard, huh, 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 yeah, 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 all right, yeah, what's this, what kind of games are, <laughs> so Allah is going to send down a blizzard of, sperm like <laughs> sorry man sperm like fluid so this and for some reason this sperm bank is under the throne of god i mean that's that's what this actually is saying look and it mentions yumni that this it will come down as it will be ejaculated down onto <laughs> What on earth is going on? Seriously, I mean, what on earth is going on? Uh, this is so preposterous, honestly. Far from being illogical, this is completely logical. So all of these small issues of, you know, how about this and how about that, it's not strong enough to reject the mutawatir ahadith about the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. Man, honestly, I don't... Then they say, why can you question this stuff? How can we not question? How can we not question? I mean, there's bloody sperm blizzards that are happening and we've got to kind of watch out for God knows showers of sperm coming down and there's got to be, I don't know, sperm banks up there under the throne of God. They bring a whole bunch of rational uh, objections, right? That these reports don't make any sense. Uh, why this? Why that? I mean, how does this stuff, seriously, how... Is this not questionable? Uh, we can say that the Quran strongly suggests, the Quran seems to have a very strong indication that uh, Isa is coming. However, it uh, We can say that the Quran strongly suggests, the Quran seems to have a very strong indication that uh, Isa is coming. However, it is not definitive and it is not conclusive in and of itself. Abis hello, this is strong. <laughs> strong people, strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran and just from the context of the Quran, we give it the presumption but not the certainty. <laughs> so that's the strong inkling strong suggestion jesus is coming in the quran it's not actually anywhere in the quran but khair strong as for the hadith this is where of course the issue becomes uh, crystal clear then the hadith is no doubt now that the 
jihad, doubt has been killed. There is no doubt. The number of Sahaba from whom uh, this hadith is narrated is around uh, um, around 10 or so. We have Abu Huraira, we have Jabir ibn Abdullah, ibn Mas'ud, ibn Umar, Aisha, Samura ibn Jundub, Imra ibn Hussein, Abdullah ibn Abdullah ibn Al-As, Hudayfa, uh, Thawban, and in fact one or two more. Uh, there's a hadith of Ibn Mas'ud. He, he mentioned Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud. First of all, Ibn Mas'ud begins by saying that the Christians claim Jesus will come back. You see this belief creeping in. But anyway, check this out. More interesting people. I want to bring your attention. Elaborate detail on the end of time. What's going to then happen is look at all of this. What will he goes through in, you know, Chers frères et sœurs, nous vous avons proposé cet élément ici pour voir comment est-ce que Allah lui-même a confirmé, là c'est dans le Coran, qu'il avait créé l'homme à partir du sperme. Il avait créé l'homme à partir du sperme. Là c'est la sourate 16 au verset 4. Maintenant, on vous a donné des hadiths. Il y a plusieurs hadiths. Ils ont écrit beaucoup de hadiths. Ça, c'est le hadith de, de Ibn Masaoud euh, qu'il était en train de lire, qui confirme à la sourate 16, au verset 4, que Allah, il a, il dit, il a créé l'homme d'une goutte de sperme. Et voilà que l'homme devient un disputeur déclaré. Donc, on nous montre qu'Allah a créé à partir du sperme. Non seulement qu'il a créé à partir du sperme, ici, eux-mêmes nous confirment, ils nous confirment que Allah euh, va recréer, il va faire la création, il va refaire la création. Là, c'est un hadith de Ibn Masoud hein, qui est donné. Il y a plusieurs euh, de, euh, personnes qui ont raconté ces hadiths, on vous a de, donné même le numéro, qui confirment que Allah va recréer le monde à partir du sperme. <rire> ça, c'est sur les musulmans. Mais euh, nous, on ne connaissait pas ça, ils nous cachaient ça. Ça, c'est Yassir Kadi, un grand docteur musulman. Euh, là, c'est Moufti Meng, euh, Moufti Abou, Abou Leif. Abou Leif, lui, c'est aussi un musulman qui connaît aussi beaucoup d'histoires là. Hein, tu vois, il se moque même de Muhammad. Il se moque de... Là, ce sont les hadiths de Muhammad. C'est Muhammad qui a dit que Allah va qui recréer. Après la destruction du monde, la création du monde va se faire avec le sperme qui va, qui va jaillir du, du, du trône de Allah. Maintenant, qui va éjaculer? Ça, c'est un indice authentique qui a été donné. Mais eux nous cachaient ça. Mais on a eu ça. Vous pouvez faire recopier la vidéo et partager. Je vais encore rejouer pour que vous puissiez suivre jusqu'à la fin. Versus the bulk of Ahl Sunnah or the bulk of Sunni Islam. Now, check this out. What does the hadith say at the end? When there's utter destruction, how will this be brought back? Then Allah will say, now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send, there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, whoa, people, let me repeat. Look at it for yourselves. Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> so for that, people, I had to had to. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Blizzard, huh? 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 Yeah, yeah. What's this? What kind of games are? <laughs> so Allah is going to send down a blizzard of sperm-like. 
<laughs> Sorry, man sperm like fluid. So this, and for some reason, this sperm bank is under the throne of God. I mean, that's, that's what this actually is saying. Look, and it mentions Yumni, that this, it will come down as it will be ejaculated down onto. <laughs> What on earth is going on? Seriously, I mean, what on earth is going on? Uh, this is so preposterous, honestly. Far from being illogical, this is completely logical. So all of these small issues of, you know, how about this and how about that, it's not strong enough to reject the mutawatir ahadith about the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. Man, honestly, I don't... Then they say, why can you question this stuff? How can we not question? How can we not question? I mean, there's bloody sperm blizzards that are happening and we've got to kind of watch out for God knows showers of sperm coming down and there's got to be, I don't know, sperm banks up there under the throne of God. They bring a whole bunch of rational uh, objections, right? That these reports don't make any sense. Uh, why this? Why that? I mean, how does this stuff, seriously, how... Is this not questionable? Shalom à tous. Vous pouvez nous contacter pour débattre. Notre numéro est là et nous vous attendons en direct ou en différé. Même les appels WhatsApp fonctionnent.